Welcome to Copilot Studio Agent Academy. This is mission four, creating a solution for your agent. My name is Eliza Benitez and I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft. In this mission today, we're going to learn about solutions, why they're important, the purpose of a solution publisher and the solution lifecycle. We'll also dive into the lab for hands-on learning of adding a new solution publisher and solution. Let's get started. So what is a solution? Solutions in Microsoft Power Platform are containers that hold all components of your apps or agents, including tables, forms, flows, and custom logic. In Copilot Studio, every agent is stored in a solution and by default, they are stored in what is known as the default solution. But you have the flexibility in creating new solutions for your agents in the Solution Explorer. Now the Solution Explorer in Copilot Studio lets you manage everything in one place. There are two types of solutions that you need to be aware of. Use unmanaged solutions for development where you can freely edit and use managed solutions for deployment that are locked down to prevent accidental changes. So why use a solution? Good question. Think of solutions as a toolbox that helps you gather and transport all the necessary components to build or fix your agent in different environments. Using solutions gives you five key benefits. Firstly, organize development with everything in one place. Secondly, safe deployment to non-development environments without any accidental changes. You also have version control through patches, updates and upgrades, and there's dependency management to prevent breaking changes. And lastly, you have better team collaboration where you first build in an unmanaged solution, and then when you're ready, you hand off a managed solution for deployment. Now, every solution will have a solution publisher. A solution publisher is, well, it's like a brand label. It identifies who created or owns a solution. It defines the prefix for components, and it also provides organizational contact information. They help with easy identification, conflict avoidance, and most importantly, supporting your application lifecycle management as solutions, between move, as solutions move between environments. For example, you have a Contoso Solutions publisher with the prefix CTS underscore. And when you create a new column called priority, it becomes CTS underscore priority. This makes a column instantly identifiable across any environment. Now the solution lifecycle follows six essential steps. Create a new solution in a development environment where you add and build the necessary components. Afterwards, you export it as a managed solution and import the managed solution to test environments for testing. And when ready, import it as managed to production. To make changes to the solution, apply patches, updates, or upgrades as needed. The structured approach ensures quality, proper testing, and controlled deployment of your agent solutions. Following this lifecycle is a fundamental best practice for development in Copilot Studio and Power Platform. So in this lab today, we are going to build a new solution where we'll first add a new solution publisher followed by adding a new solution. We'll then set the new solution to be the preferred solution so that it becomes the default destination for our agent and its components. The end result is an identifiable solution that we'll use for developing our agent and its components in the remaining missions. Now, before we begin, make sure you've already completed the earlier missions. And most importantly, you'll need a, de a dedicated development environment, which was covered in the core setup mission. Let's begin. 
first, we need to navigate to the Solution Explorer in Copilot Studio. Look for the ellipses icon in the left navigation menu and select it to view additional options. Select Solutions and the Solution Explorer will load. This is where all the solution management happens within Copilot Studio. Next, select the New Solution button to begin the creation process. First, we need to create a publisher for our solution. Remember, publishers define the prefix for all our components and help identify ownership. Look for the new publisher link and select it to begin creating our publisher. The new publisher pane loads with the properties tab selected, displaying fields that we need to populate. The key fields are display name, which will set as Contoso Solutions, name, which will be Contoso Solutions without spaces, and prefix, where we'll use CTS. This prefix will appear before all our custom components. For the choice value prefix, the automatically generated number will be rounded to the nearest thousand for better organization and readability. Now, if you want to provide the contact details for the solution, select the contact tab and populate the following columns displayed. We'll click save to create the publisher. We'll return to the new solution pane with our newly created publisher already selected. Now that we've created our solution publisher, we can now complete the rest of the form in the new solution pane. We'll enter a display name, which is what users will see when viewing the solution. For the name field, we'll enter Contoso Help Desk Agent without spaces. This becomes the technical name in the system. Notice the version number is automatically set to a value, which is the initial version of the solution. Tick the Set as your preferred solution checkbox. This ensures that when we create our agent later, it will automatically be added to the solution rather than the default one. Expand more options to see additional details that can be provided in a solution. Here we can see fields like installed on, which shows the installation date, configuration page where developers can set up HTML web resources for user interaction, and a description field for documenting the solution's purpose. For our lab purposes, we'll leave these fields blank and focus on the core solution setup, but it's good to know they're available for more complex enterprise deployments. Select Create. Copilot Studio will process our request and establish our solution with all the properties we've defined. Once created, our solution appears in the Copilot Studio interface, showing zero components. This is expected since we haven't created our agent yet. Let's go back to the Solution Explorer. Notice how our newly created solution is now the preferred solution based on the box we ticked earlier. Our solution is now ready and waiting for us to add an agent to it and its components in the upcoming missions. Mission accomplished. You've added a new solution publisher and a new solution which became the preferred solution in the environment. This means any new agent and components you create in future missions will automatically be added to this solution unless you specify otherwise. And that wraps up mission four of the Copilot Studio Agent Academy. Thanks for joining us. So keep experimenting, keep building, and as always, keep learning. We'll see you in the next mission of the Agent Academy.